Hey, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to another Home Lab series video. In today's video, we're actually going to be um, setting up a unified network server. Um, if you recall, uh, a few videos back, we I actually uh, bought a unified five five port switch um, and didn't actually realize that you can. There's actually like a whole like server um, console thing that you can actually set up and actually do like VLAN configurations and other things with it. So in this video, we're gonna set that up, see what we can do with our switch, and we'll probably use it for any other unified hardware that we buy too. So. Uh, this video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy the content, want to send me some free swag, send me some hardware, or something of that sort, um, my email is in the description below. So give me a, give me an email here. So all right, let's get started, guys. Okay, so doing a little bit of research, um, we actually will have to create a Ubuntu server here um, because. Based off of what Unify has for their network servers, it's, it's actually more geared towards the Debian systems. Um, so what I did was I went to the Ubuntu site and downloaded the Ubuntu server ISO. Um, now, um, the thing here with this is you need to make sure you download the server ISO, not the desktop ISO. So you can see how this says desktop, they actually have a server version. So make sure you download the server version. The other thing is the latest version, I didn't get it to work on the latest version, but I got it to work on their uh, 1804, which is the l other um, version that they had before they upgraded to their like 22 or whatnot. Um, it might actually work on the 22, but I got it to work on the 18. So we're going to see if we can go find the 18 installer. Wow. It's, it's actually, oh, there it is right there. It's actually pretty, pretty old. Um, <laughs> So we'll download the server image. Um, I actually already have it downloaded, so um, we're gonna cancel this, but that's that's where you would find it. So we will create a Unify server thing here. So we're gonna name it Unify Network Server. In here, uh, put it in the home lab, put it in the data store. And so now we get to actually do Ubuntu 16, somewhere here. There it is. Uh, Ubuntu 64, 64-bit. Uh, and we'll just give it some, some power here. Um, this is probably fine on, on 16. I don't think it probably needs that much. You can do like 40. I usually just do like 40 just to make sure I don't run out on accident. Uh, and then we go to data store ISO. Go to ISOs. Oh, it's pro it's in my other ISO store. You been to there it goes. All right. Next finish. All right. And then we'll power this on. So it's, I mean, it's, it's a pretty similar install when you compare it to like um, the, the CentOS install. Um, you pretty much just kind of go through, go through the items, figure out what you, what you want um, and let it install for the most part. Um, so what we're going to actually do is also set up the DNS while we wait for this to boot here. All right, we got Ubuntu long-term support, English. Uh, yeah, we won't need to update there. Done. Um, here, we'll actually set this to be static instead of DHCP, so, or manual is what they call it. Um, I don't actually know. Oh, so this is a little bit weird. The subnet is actually, you have to do the whole subnet range. Um, and then the address we're going to do, I think it's going to be the next one, which is 139. 139. That's our gateway. And then 192.168.1.131. And then dragon.local. There we go. Done. We don't need a proxy. We'll just leave it at that mirror, we will use the entire disk. Uh, you can hit, and no custom storage. 
and then it just pretty much says, hey, confirm this is what the use this is, this is the partitions it's gonna create. Hit done and continue. Now you can set up names and server. Um, unify, unify. Network server. Uh, I guess we can just name it unify. We'll just name it unify. And then type in a password. We will install OpenSSH so that we can actually SSH to the box. Um, we will pass through any of the feature snaps and then here it will install. So we'll give it a, a few minutes here to let that install. Um, while that happens, we will actually update our DNS to uh, make sure that we can resolve it. So uh, we will do update, update the serial number, then we will do unify in eight, 192.168.1.139. All right, let's commit this. All right. So this will take a few minutes, but we, I will actually show you what, what the Unify install kind of looks like. Um, network server. So we're gonna just go with this self-hosted network server. I believe they actually also have their own um, console thing that you can actually purchase from them, but what's the fun in that when you have a home lab, right? You wanna build some stuff. Um, so they have the whole, oh yeah, see they have the whole Unified dedicated console um, to, to do this. Um, it's, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> but what we're going to do is go through this install. Now with this install, there's obviously a few ways to do it. I actually found that they actually created um, uh, Ubuntu or Debian packages specifically that, so you don't actually have to like download any of the packages or like run any actual installs. You just do like an apt up, um, install and it actually works. So um, if we go back to update, uh, yeah, so there's a related article here that's actually uh, updating self-hosted unified network and service. So actually, I think if I go, yeah, so if I go up a, a level, there will actually be a updating self-hosted unify service, which will actually give you the steps to actually um, app get and run through this to actually install the unify network service service. So we'll wait for this to finish installing and then we'll essentially just go through the steps. All right, guys, now it finally finished installing and installing updates. So we got this page and we can now reboot now. So we will reboot, press enter. We're gonna remove the media installation. All good, all good. All right, now I should reboot and start back up. It's just gonna take a little bit. It's almost there, almost there. Okay, come on. I believe in you. All right, and we made it. So the one thing to know is you can't actually log in as root um, because it actually is disabled in Ubuntu by default. So you can't actually log in as root, but you can log in as the user you created. Um, and we will actually go to the SSH console so we'll actually log in. Um, local. And we will log in here so that we can actually copy and paste the commands. Okay, so we got this over here. So first things first, we want to do an app get update and uh, install the CA certificates and transport HTTPS layer. So this will essentially 
um, make it such that it can set up HTTPS with their basic install package. All right, so that's installed. Now we need to add the new source list. So this is essentially saying, hey, we want this, grab this from the source. Um, but we will also need to trust their, G, uh, their GPG key um, because if we don't trust it, um, essentially we can't pull from it because it'd be like, well, you don't trust this source. Um, so if this doesn't work, we'll use method B to just import it directly like that, but this should, this should still work. Um, then we need to run this command, which looks like it will set up the MongoDB server. Oh. Oh, I just copied and pasted like that. All right. Um, and then, yeah, get update, which will grab those new packages. And then on some distributions, um, I found out that you don't actually need this step if you're just running based off of the, the new install. So I'm going to ignore this step right here on holding the open JDK 11. And we're just going to actually install the unify. So it's going to go through all its things, download all the packages, set up the database, set up the repository and set up the things that it needs. A package just a few things. It actually, it actually does use actually uh, OpenJDK 11. Um, this hold command would actually make it so that it wouldn't uh, change the JDK 11 versions. Um, but in this case, it looks like it, the, the new package is using OpenJDK 11, so. And we'll fast forward to when this actually finishes installing. All right, now that's finished installing, we can actually just do a service unify start and it will start the service. Now with a basic uh, Ubuntu install, there's actually a thing that you won't actually get uh, or that, that it doesn't tell you, but essentially there is, um, and it's not system, it's actually service. Um, UFW is actually the firewall that Ubuntu runs. Um, so in this case, we won't actually be able to hit it um, with the firewall. And the other thing to note is actually it'll run on A443 um, and not like 443. So actually when you, when you type it in, um, it's, you gotta use that instead. So A443. Oh, actually it does work. You actually don't need it. I just, I just messed up the port earlier. <laughs> All right, whatever. So it actually does open up. You don't have to actually disable the firewall, but if you wanted to, you can just, you can, you can stop the firewall. Um, I was just using the wrong port earlier when I was testing. Okay. So you essentially have now installed the Unify, um, network. So you just kind of go through the steps. It's actually pretty, pretty self-explanatory. You hit next. There's a username, there's a password. I wonder what the switch advanced. Oh. Yeah, so you'll type in your username and password in here. Um, so I'm gonna just black this out so I don't DOS myself, but you guys get the point. Username, password. Um, uh, we won't do backups because I already have a, a different Unify thing set up. So we're just gonna turn off backups for now. Um, and because I already have all my devices set up, it doesn't show here, but if you were to plug in a device, it would actually see and recognize in here. Um, this is the Wi-Fi setup. If you were to actually set up Wi-Fi, so, but I don't have any access points or anything, so I'm just gonna type in some random stuff and it'll be totally fine. We're just gonna hit next. Actually, we could have we could have hit escape. Actually, um, I'm gonna black out my personal information here, um, but you can hit finish. It will configure Unify network, and now you have the Unify network uh, server here. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool, actually. I mean, I didn't even think that this would even work for our our switch because we just bought a really small kind of switch. Um, but it actually, um, oh, you can't see anything because it's hooked up to my other server. That's interesting. Okay, so I I will have to actually probably go into my other server um, because it actually doesn't show. Um, yeah, it won't actually show on this because I already added it to, to my other server. So we're gonna go to my other server here. Um, yeah, 
unsafe. Also, blackout. Use the names and passwords again. So this is this is my other one um, that I created that for, for my actual home network. Like, it won't like two, but you can actually see a lot of things. the The, the good thing about this is once you plug it in, you, it auto updates things. A you can you can set up a lot of things. Um, so the one thing I actually want to show you guys is essentially um, on the switch. Uh, you can actually do things um, that. Uh, it's, for example, if you wanted to set up like VLANing, you can you can you can do VLANing on here. Um, so you can go to like ports and select a port, and actually do things with that port. So like in this case, you can see how like I can enable disable a port. Um, we can create a network, and this is where the VLANing is. You would create like a network VLAN it. Um, you can also do other operations like switching or mirroring. Um, you can specify specific link speeds um, and other portfolios. So um, this actually gives you a lot of utility to actually do a lot of things. So um, definitely highly recommend if you get any Unify product to actually set up the Unify network server and be able to play around with it. So awesome. Well, that pretty much concludes this video. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully if you guys didn't know this was even a thing, you got some Unify products, go set up that Unify network server and have some fun. So. Awesome. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hope you guys have a great day. See you guys later.